hey guys it's Nicole welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter so I know in one of my previous videos I think it was last Thursday when I said that I was going to make something from um, a thrifting haul and I never got around to it so here I am this is something that I picked up at the thrift store it's um, it's a scrapping scrapbooking pack I paid five dollars for it and it came with two packs plus okay so here's the second pack right here um, plus it came with all of this scrapbooking paper it's kind of dirty but um, it's still usable it's just been sitting in a dusty thrift store for a while um, yeah so I will still use some of this um, this paper right here and uh, yeah maybe even some of these solid primary colors back here but again it's all very dirty and dusty so I'll have to uh, figure that out okay so what I want to do is use up this right here to make something interesting definitely not a scrapbooking layout but um, something similar or you know it's just the, the 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 paper itself that's in here it's just very interesting and it's very scrap um, very junk journal worthy and um, I think we can do something with this all right so that being said just want to show you guys what was in that package we have some handmade paper like this is some um, almost mulberry-esque like it's like cottony and you can see the cotton fibers in there and um, yeah it's just some handmade paper here we have some I don't know what this measures this measures oh I <laughs> uh, don't know this is not in inches or what is this centimeters perhaps here I'll just measure it on the mat guys like what am I doing here it measures eight by okay so six by eight it's what these measure about the size of my oversized index cards that we're doing the index card scrabble piece challenge with so yeah these measure six by eight just various little um, scrapbooking paper some music paper um, you know some pre collaged paper even some I believe that's Japanese writing right there um, some more like you know single-sided <laughs> mouth-watering fried catfish oh possum stew if you're ever interested there you go I will send this directly to you okay <laughs> Uh, some cute little uh, family photos of this family I don't know who they are and then some other fussy cut items that you can um, definitely spend time cutting out okay so there's that there's also this interesting piece of paper I think I remember this paper like in elementary school it had like a wavy line at the bottom of the page it wasn't even this big it was only about maybe two inches and my teacher used to line her entire classroom borders with this stuff everywhere you turn around there was this wavy thing anyway I happen to have a little um, hand crank machine that does that so this was given to me I believe you um, place your paper in between here and then you squeeze it and then you crank the little handle on the side like that and then you will get this exact thing okay so yeah if you ever see one of these at a thrift store or I don't know if they still make this this particular device it's by Fiskars so p potentially it's still out there I'm just not a fan of the colors <laughs> because um, it's a college team that I don't like anyway so um, yeah this this is definitely um, some scrapbooking background paper or you can use it in a junk journal so I'll keep that and then we have just some other random papers in this particular pack um, there's this all single-sided of course this is some heavyweight cardstock um, music paper so that's usable here's another heavyweight cardstock um, it's like a ad a newspaper ad so that's usable single-sided as well and then there was one more that I already chopped up 
Okay, so I started cutting this up, and this is a lighter weight um, newspaper ad paper as well from the pack. It had like maybe four columns, and I've already started making things with it. So let's continue where I left off. And so, yeah, so now there's a whole nother package of the same thing right here for me to play with. So let's just play with one that I've already got open and scattered all over my desk. And I want to show you guys something very interesting. Okay. Um, this right here was just something that I was testing. I took a piece of glassine paper. This is glassine paper. Okay. It's kind of like wax paper, but not. Um, the only other uh, way I've s seen this used is probably in um, envelopes. So if you order, like I've ordered a package of envelopes, um, not a package of envelopes. I ordered a package of uh, vintage um, stamps, po like mailing stamps. And whoever sent it to me, I bought it on eBay or Etsy or somewhere. And whoever sent that to me... Um, it was made, the envelope that all those stamps were in was made out of a paper like this. This is glassine paper. Okay, so um, I went ahead and picked up a package of this on Amazon. And this is what we're going to do besides this. I have here some glassine bags. Okay, this is like some lunch bags that some caterer put together they bought this from Uline which I just got two really thick uh, catalogs from Uline and so I know that these were in there in the book and the catalogs are such a waste of paper I could have probably saved it to um, use as glue mats or whatever but those catalogs are such a waste of paper but here's some catering bags these are like lunch bags they are made of glassine they are just about the same um, material as this a little bit thicker thicker millage so maybe this is about seven mils to make this bag and this paper right here is probably about three to five mils um, so there's that and then I have another one so guess what we're going to do with these awesome bags because they have there's some transparency on it right I'm gonna make them into journals and then they have their own little handles that are definitely part of the bag so we'll see if we can salvage this part of it to um, keep onto the journal and um, yeah so I'm gonna do that I don't know when maybe right after this video I'll do it and um, and yeah we'll we'll have a new journal to play with um, maybe I will decorate it for the holidays and make a holiday journal we'll see we'll see we'll play we'll play all right so here's my little girl that I started decorating on here and um, so I just made a little a little collage behind her with some these are some appliques that I coffee dyed and um, yeah it's just like a little applique it was white and I just took it to my kitchen and coffee dyed them and um, yeah now there's just something additional to play with in here so I rounded the corners tore the edges rounded the corners and then I just stuck some of this paper behind her and I thought it would you know bring out some of the browns in the the image itself so I'm gonna do that again I have here another sheet and some of these uh, photos are just they're just old cards right I mean they're supposed to be old photos but they're just on card stock paper and um, yeah so let's just see what we can play with and get so I'm gonna take some of my this is some of my coffee dyed papers um, I'm just going to uh, collage something really quickly maybe onto a book page so I will move the rest of this stuff out of the way and bring in my glue mat 
my little half a glue mat because I did ruin my other glue mat. I mean, the other half of this by cutting directly onto it. So that happens. <laughs> I'm just going to cut away this right here. Just the, um, the border edges or the, the white margins off of here. Try to keep that number, but it didn't work. And I'm going to cut away the top part of the title of the book. Okay, so here we have this. And I'm going to use this as my base and then just start layering things directly on top of it. I'm going to use my tearing ruler. And um, yeah, just layering things on top of the book page as a base for, um, for this image. Let's see, maybe I'll use him or them. Or her. I think I'll use her. Yeah. And then I'll put some of this brown mulberry or homemade or handmade paper in the back here. And she's going to get a bunch of stuff. Like just all kinds of things on there. And um, yeah. Okay, and then I'll put a little applique up here at the top. Maybe a smaller one. Yeah, I'll use a smaller one right up there. Okay, so then that'll become a journaling card. I will then glue all of that onto a piece of, let's see. Nope, I need a bigger sheet. glue it all onto a piece of brown craft paper or this is really cardstock so I will cut this down to size so I'm thinking yeah about four and a quarter We'll remove an inch at a time off of here just until I get it matted correctly and I think that's that should be close yeah so yeah that's pretty close what I'll do is um, I'll glue it all down and then I'll cut away the excess down at the bottom. All right, so let's do that. I'm just going to move everything. Um, let me straighten up this book page because it is annoying me just ever so slightly. Because I hand cut it with the scissor. So, yeah, I'm just going to straighten up this book page. And then glue it down here. I'm only going to mat the top and the sides to make sure that that's even before um, putting everything else on because some of this may layer down below. So let's do that. I'm going to use glue stick because it's here and ready to go. And I'm going to glue the paper, not the cardstock. So let's see which side. Yeah, I'll do this side. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a super crafty day and doing crafty things in your crafting space because um, that's what I'm doing. I'm not even sure what day of the week it is anymore, I believe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. But whenever I post this, it'll be that day because I'm sure I was supposed to do this after... Um, my personal collection thrifting haul from my friend Jennifer and yeah I was supposed to do this 
and I got sidetracked, went and edited that video, and then never came back to this one. Also, yeah, I just had so much stuff to do. I'm also um, about to pack up and head up to my uncle's house in South Carolina, so I'll have to take all of my craft supplies with me up there. So there's a whole nother thing that I have to go through. So anyway, but again, I hope you all are having a great day and um, yeah, making the most of whatever types of crafts that you guys are into, whether it's junk journals or scrapbooking or, you know, if you're working in your garden, because that's a craft, whether you want to think about it as one is, or not, garden work is crafting something. I mean, whether it's a food garden or a um, floral garden, that's crafting. So anything that you are making is crafting. You're crafting it with your own two hands. And um, yeah, I think I talked about that in the podcast the other day. So you can craft pretty much anything. So this will go here. This will go down here. She will go here. Okay. Yep. Let's do it. And again, I'm just using glue stick because it's convenient. And it's here. So why am I doing this, right? Why am I collaging this paper onto here? Really, I'm making just another little cute journaling card that can go into any junk journal. But two, I need to use up some, I can't just hoard all of this thrift store stuff, right? So I have to make something with it. And I'm just um, really just showing you guys that, you know, when you do thrift, if you do go thrifting, make sure you pick up things that you not only like but need or have a need for or have a use for don't just buy things to hoard them in your crafting space because it really doesn't do anyone any good because someone else could have picked that up at the thrift store and did something with it so if you're going thrifting ugh, Excuse me, I had to drink some of my tea. If you're going thrifting, um, yeah, just make sure that you are using the things that you pick up. So, um, yeah, I'm just using Fabrifix on this, and I will use Fabrifix on the applique. So she's going to get Fabrifix right down here, and the applique will get Fabrifix right at the top in the center. And now I have like this little cute journaling card that can go into my junk journal. Now, I just recently, I went to, I think it was Five Below. And Five Below now is no longer Five Below. It's now 5.55 and below. <laughs> so everything in the store is now $5.55, which really just, you know, inflation, I guess. But so many of these stores that got you hooked at the beginning, got you coming in there, spending, you know, less than five bucks for everything in it. Now wants another 55 cents to go with that. So I, um, where was I going with this? So I uh, picked up, what did I pick up? I picked up something at the store and was, um, was not really happy that I bought it. But now I have to use it because how do you return something that was only $5? And um, they have a really decent crafting section, like, you know, beginner crafting items. So if you're not really into thrifting, but you want to try crafting, um, you know, art supplies um, are available at Five Below for um, less than $5. Okay, so... Keep that in mind. Oof. 
almost put this right over her face. That would not have been good. I'm just going to pop a little color right down here. Okay. And yeah, so now I have this little guy, which once it dries, it will flatten out. And then I can come in here at the bottom and cut away the excess um, paper, craft paper. Or I can leave it. I mean, who's to say? I can just continue going all the way down. I mean, who's to say that my craft, my um, card stops there? So I can put, I can put a little ticket down there. This is an ice coupon. Yeah, that can go down there. I don't have to um, cut away the excess. So, yeah. There's that. Glue this down under here. And then I'll put a number on it. Yeah, I can put a sentiment on it, seeing that I have a coupon right there already with a number. And I'm just talking out loud to myself, guys. Like, you know, um, I can put a sentiment on there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of the sentiment sticker. I'm going to glue it close to the edge over here on this little piece of paper as straight as possible. Whoa. Okay. And then I'm going to glue down this, this entire thing underneath that red label that I placed at the end down here. My desk is looking just as crazy as it can. <sighs> All right. So this will go right down here. Okay. Lovely. Okay. So here we have another little card. Here's my little prototype of this little serious. She looks like hmm, a handful. Um, <laughs> here's a little card that we can definitely use in our journal. So I have these two to play with now and I'll probably make some more. I have plenty of card um, craft card left over and um, yeah I'll make another one so let's just see I'll make one that is as small as the photo itself so it's more of a, a tiny tagish it'll be closer to the size of the photo okay so don't like him. I'll use this couple. Yeah, they're cute. And I'll still use some of this paper. Single-sided, of course. There's that. I will place... Um, oh, I can place this as a tag. To bring in some color. Right, and then put some more of that brown paper. I love that brown paper. It's really functional. Um, it's usable for my projects. So, yeah, I, I'm definitely going to use up more of it. Here's some some of it. So I thought I had another piece that I already cut. Here it is. So yeah, I can place this down here either in front of them or behind them. I'll place it right there. Okay. So that'll go like that. This will be my little tab at the top. And yeah, that'll make a cute little um, something to go into a pocket of a journal. And then on them, I will place a little number up here for some contrast. Simple. Simple, simple. Okay, so let's do this. I'm just clearing away 
the excess stuff on my desk. Um, so let's just glue this down. Let's just do it. Just do it, Nicole. Hurry up and do it. <laughs> I know, I should be gluing the paper that's going on top of here and not the actual craft card, but I just don't want my camera to stop recording. Lately, my camera has been doing exactly 30 minutes of recording and then shutting off. So, if I get to 30 minutes, which I think I'm almost there now, I may have to restart the, the timer on this. So, And it did stop recording, so here, I just started it over again. It's just something that I have to be aware of and, you know, keep an eye on, so... I'm just going to use some Fabrifix glue to glue down the photo image of this couple who looks pretty happy to be getting, I don't know, prom night or married or it's interesting. I don't know where they're going, <laughs> but he's wearing a tux and she's wearing like a Saturday afternoon outfit. So I don't know what they're up to, but they're doing stuff. And, okay, so here's my little brown handmade paper that I'm going to tuck underneath here. Okay. And I will place this. I got to clean off all of this stuff. I will place um, this little numbered ticket up here in this corner so that'll go like so and I still have room for another 25 cent ice coupon because who doesn't need ice I'm sure they all needed ice back in this time so I'm just going to use a glue stick to get this down and then we can wrap this up so really my point um, for today was really just use up the things that you pick up at the thrift store you just you can't hoard it right we have to use it all up and you might as well make some cute things with it even if it's not something that you originally would see and pick up um, or you know for your own supplies depending on what your particular uh, craft is um, pick it up for a friend who you know are into junk journals or um, as long as they would use it okay so and if you don't buy it, let someone else pick it up. Um, you know, let someone else discover uh, the things at the craft store. I mean, at the um, the thrift store. If you're not going to do anything with it, if you just saw it, liked it, and you know, just think about if you left it there, someone else would find it and make something with it. So, just a little bit of. Uh, thrifting consideration I guess <laughs> this is a sticker so it cannot be a pull tab so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it now now that I've removed it from itself from its backing I think I'm just going to have to stick the whole thing directly down right over her pretty hat and it's there that's where it lives now forever and ever i can slide it up and just cut off the excess but i think i'll leave it just like so and this bottom section needs some glue so i will just put a little bit of fabric fix directly underneath here so anyway guys i am definitely going to leave y'all right here at this point of the video i hope y'all have a crafty day and um, stay naturally curious and don't forget to support your local thrift stores and um, yeah but if you do make sure you use up what you buy and uh, if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the bell for notifications and check out my links down in the description box down below because, um, yeah, I get a small commission from Amazon if you were to 
use those links. But here we have our three little cards that will more than likely go into our glassine packaging um, journal that we're going to start. I'll probably start making this journal uh, maybe tomorrow or, or the following day. So let's see. I don't know what day it is. So <laughs> um, I'm just going to start making it. And then whenever I get uh, to a point to stop, I will um, upload the video. But yeah, All right, we're going to start a new journal made out of this glassine bag just to see how well that goes and but in the meantime I have these three little cards that's going to go great in it all right so y'all have yourselves a great day I'll talk to you in the next one stay naturally curious Ooh, bye. <laughs>